Do you need a fat burner to lose body fat? The question of the day. Stay tuned for my answer and some detailed information about fat burners. So welcome back to the Shape It Up channel. My name is Nicole. We're talking about fat burners today. I got this question from a client of mine and they wanted to know whether I used fat burners or what my opinion of fat burners are. If you don't know what a fat burner is, a fat burner is a supplement that you take that is supposed to help you metabolize fat loss. Fat burners are typically made up of different compounds. A lot of them are definitely caffeine is in them. You may see it as um, Mohang, if I'm saying that right. Uh, carnitine, green tea, CLA, putty, ephedra, chromium. There's, a, the, there's so many different things that they put together in the supplement. So most of the fat burners are made up with caffeine being the main ingredient. Caffeine has been known to increase heart rate and abnormal heart rhythms. Also the other thing with fat burners is just if it says natural, that doesn't mean it's safe. If you are familiar with fat burners, you know that ephedra has been taken off the market. It was causing heart problems and people were dying from taking ephedra. So here's the gist about supplements. They are not regulated in the United States. There are no guidelines on what goes in them. Um, pretty much whatever they want to put in them, they can put in them. You can have labels of supplements and what is in there may not be on the label or vice versa. They may say there's something in there on the label, but it might not be in the supplement. So be very, very wary of what supplement company you are using. Now, do I use supplements? Yes. Do I use fat burners? No, and I will explain to you why in a second. My philosophy is it is a supplement to your nutrition. Your nutrition has to be on point, and then you supplement with the supplements. If you're eating junk food all day long and you take a fat burner, n nothing is going to happen that is going to benefit you to lose weight. So you do have to work out and you do have to eat right. Then on top of that, if you wanna add some supplements, that's when you would do it. So here are my thoughts on fat burners. I do not think you need to take a fat burner. I don't care who you are or what you're trying to accomplish. I don't care if you're a movie star that needs to get ripped for a role. I think fat burners are the worst thing, well, one of the worst things that you could probably do for your body. I think they're a waste of money because you know you're paying 10, 20 bucks for that little bottle, but you can absolutely lose body fat, 100% guarantee you can lose body fat if you do the following. Eat right, work out, get sleep, and wanna do it. <laughs> so with those four things, you don't, you don't need a fat burner. Um, so somebody asked me if when I get to the bikini competition, which if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm doing a fitness competition in the beginning of May of 2018. And they asked me if I would take a fat burner, if I was getting close to the stage ready and I wasn't quite there. My answer, no. Uh, they said, what if your coach says you need to take a fat burner? I'm gonna say no. I don't feel that you need that. If you have allowed yourself enough time to get down to the level of leanness that you need for that competition or movie or whatever you're doing, I don't think you need a fat burner. It's the people that wait till the last minute that are like, or say you have a wedding and oh my goodness, I have to lose 20 pounds in a week. You're messing with your metabolism, you're messing with your mind, and you could have a heart attack and die. So why would you want to do that to yourself? Also, if my coach asked me to take a fat burner, I don't think that's a good coach. Who? Wh no, I don't want to take a fat burner. There's no trophy or prize worth winning to sacrifice your health. If my coach cares about my health, or if your coach, whoever you're working with, cares about your health, they're not going to recommend it. Maybe you shouldn't be working with them. So if you're dieting correctly, and I hate to use the word diet, but that's what it is. So if you are dieting correctly and you're working out and you're getting enough sleep, you, you shouldn't have to you shouldn't need a fat burner. So maybe you should ask yourself if you are giving 100% in your workouts, in your nutrition, and your sleeping, and your stress levels. I mean, there's so many factors that are involved in weight loss that you have to kind of check off some boxes. If you would like a checklist 
on how to stay in check with your fitness goals, um, you can go to shapeitupfitness.com and you can download your free checklist today. I will also put the link in the description below so you can check that out. Maybe you should ask yourself if you're truly giving 100% to your diets and your workouts or are you just looking for an easy way out? Because you know, in today's society, we want everything yesterday. It doesn't happen that way. Nothing worth having is easy. Do the work that's involved to get the results that you want. Don't, I hate to say it, don't half-ass it. Don't take the easy way out. It only mess you up later on. Moral of the story is, if you want to bump up your heart rate or you want to kind of get your metabolism going a little bit more, have a cup of coffee, have some green tea. You don't need a fat burner. Coffee costs really like, what, two cents? It doesn't cost that much to make a cup of coffee if you're brewing it at home. So have a cup of coffee. Um, I am going to do a video about caffeine. So I will link it over here and um, you can click on that and uh, you can check out the video on caffeine. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you will think twice if you feel the need to have a fat burner. Don't do it, it's not good. Remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. And I will see you in the next Shape It Up video.